Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to share with you how you can use your WordPress website or blogs search to guide you in terms of your content creation. And so a while back uh, Google changed their analytics software to where it, it stopped providing keyword content. So if you were like me I used Google Analytics as well as Google uh, Webmaster Tools Now Search Console. I use both of those tools to guide me in my approach in terms of how I would write content because I was trying to target the keywords that Google was sending traffic over to uh, my website. So once I figured out those keywords, I would write content about it and then increase my rankings. Therefore, my traffic would increase engagement would increase signups you know the deal I think we all get the importance of Google uh, search ranking but Google changed that to where basically if users were logged in then um, and they added the HTTPS HTTPS um, or SSL so the security measure that would stop or block so now if you look at your Google Analytics you don't even see the keyword you just see not provided well here's a uh, tip for you today in terms of getting back to using keywords so if you can get users to your website then this tutorial is going to help you so let's get started we're going to use um, a test site that I use from time to time to do tutorials and it is the kickstartcomtest.com website and it is hosted with InMotion hosting um, I like it just because it offers a simple and easy to use WordPress installation as well as the affordability and then just reliability and speed factor of, of load time that being said um, I host a variety of primary and secondary websites but let's get started with today's tutorial and what you're going to do is go ahead and log in and actually before you log in uh, make note here that if you don't have your search option there on your uh, home page as well as secondary pages or internal pages, I suggest you get that there immediately. You're missing out on an opportunity uh, for users telling you what type of content they're in search of on your website. So let's go ahead and log in here. Hopefully I can remember uh, my password. We'll get logged in, and what you're going to do is go to plugins. We're going to add a plugin, and the plugin that we are in search of, I believe, is called Search Meter. And there it is. And if you haven't installed it, go ahead and install it. Once it finishes unpackaging and installing, go ahead and activate. All right that then on the settings menu you should now see a new search meter option and so you can go to search meters and, it, and it's good to show this so um, what you can do is show statistics to all logged in users please do not select that or you can show post authors and administrators uh, typically, in most cases, you're going to only want to select administrators only. However, if you run a content marketing uh, site or just a content site whereby you have other uh, writers or authors that are out there and they may need to see these metrics, well, then you may want to leave it um, as is. You can also choose to ignore searches made by login administrators, which I always uh, keep and then keep detailed information about recent searches taken from HTTP headers. Um, you can go ahead and check that as well in the last box I leave blank. So I go ahead, save that, and then you'll recognize here under the dashboard there is now search meter. And so what happens is this is where all of your data is stored. It'll give you a summary for all of these. No searches have occurred on this site as of yet. And then you have other tabs for the last 100 searches, last 500 searches. So what I'm going to do is actually log out, do a simple refresh. We're going to run a couple searches. 
Um, so let's just say you were looking for content marketing. And it would say nothing found. Well, let's say we were looking for something called uh, tech post. And there's all of the tech posts. No, let's say we weren't looking for tech posts. Let's say we were looking for sales, something about sales. There you go. So we ran just a couple of simple searches just to get the point across here. So when you go log back in to your admin, your WordPress admin, and can I remember? Once you log into your admin, then go to the search meter and voila. Now you're seeing data and this is real time data. So the searches are, are being compiled as people are searching on your site. So a couple of things here, it will show you the term that they search by, uh, the number of times it's been searched using that term, and then the number of results. And so I pay close attention to all of these metrics, uh, meaning that I focus in on the term, and then I see how many times has that been searched, because it could be searched by multiple times. Now, one of the things here is that if you go ahead and you click it, then it'll take you over to the post. Now there are no posts that are there. So that's the that's the good thing. Now, if you click um, if you click the link, it'll also take you to the post, but it'll show you each of these results. So it'll show you the post that that were shown for those results or for that term. So that being said, I use this um, constantly now that Google Analytics doesn't provide the keyword and it is providing me so much insight now granted users have to get to your website for them to be able to use this and make good use of it for you uh, but essentially I go through about every week um, looking at what the last seven days were like what the last 30 days um, as well as what the last you know 100 searches are and so if you go there, it'll show you the date and time when it was searched, number of results, all that good info. But use this as your guide for what people are searching for. Um, so if you know you don't have anything about content marketing on your website or even long, uh, long tail keywords, so you may go, well, how do I create or how do I outsource content marketing? You may want to write a post about how do I create uh, you know, a strategy to outsource content marketing. Um, and so from term to term, you just want to be sure that you're measuring on a weekly basis um, the effectiveness of your content. Like I said, if you don't have any of those um, terms or content for those terms, get those terms written. That being said, that's it. I mean, that's, that's it in a nutshell. Simple plug-in search meter. Uh, will allow you visibility into how your readers are searching and using your site. So don't be shy. Um, go ahead and get it installed. Make sure that you have your search um, installed. If it's in the sidebar, you can essentially go into the widgets area. I'll just show that real quick. Go to your widgets and you can just place it there in the sidebar. Um, you can also show your popular searches or just if you need another search bar, there it is. Um, that being said, I uh, hope this tutorial has helped you. If you have questions, please leave me comments below. Uh, do feel free to visit kickstartcommerce.com. And last but not least, please subscribe to this channel so that you are alerted to when the next tutorial drops and is made live. Thank you for your time. I hope that helps. Like I said, let me know if you have questions. I'll get them answered, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.